a sea of humanity occupying downtown Hong Kong. A virtual constellation as young demonstrators waved their cell phones in the air and called for more democracy in a gathering that sometimes felt like a pro-democracy rally. I'm standing right here in what is supposed to be an eight-lane highway, the main artery that runs through this financial hub. And now, for two nights in a row, it has been occupied by thousands and thousands of demonstrators who uh, are standing in defiance, not only of the government here in Hong Kong, which is housed in this complex over here, the government headquarters right nearby, but also standing in defiance of the ruling Communist Party in mainland China, which has called this gathering illegal. Now, the demonstrators have been led, for the most part, by the youth here, by students who started their boycott of classes a week ago. And this is a protest movement that has grown in the subsequent week in response, in large part, to the security forces who've used tear gas over the course of the weekend, pepper spray, and detained dozens of demonstrators. That only seemed to bring more people out into the streets. And as you can see right now, nobody seems to be planning to go home anytime soon. People are camping out here after midnight uh, in the early pre-dawn hours on Tuesday. And, and there's a real volunteerism here, a real kind of civic effort as donations have come in, uh, people bringing in boxes of everything from water to snacks to surgical supplies coming in on uh, motorcycles, coming in on trucks. They have effectively brought this city to a standstill, and that's because people say they want to have true, free, and fair elections in 2017 uh, in defiance of a system uh, of elections that they claim would allow the central government in Beijing to basically vet and handpick candidates for office. So it, it is still a festive scene. Uh, it, it is a, a remarkable test of wills right now between young residents of the city and the very powerful Chinese central government that is most assuredly watching closely to see what will happen next here. Ivan Watson, CNN, Hong Kong.